Could a painting from the late 1400s contain a deliberate hidden message? A profound secret planted by one of history's greatest minds, Leonardo da Vinci? For ages, whispers and theories have swirled around his Last Supper, suggesting more than meets the eye. Now, thanks to the incredible power of advanced artificial intelligence, those whispers are becoming a thunderous roar. This isn't about wild speculation anymore. The AI has meticulously analyzed every layer, every crack, every shadow, and it has found something undeniable. A core detail, a specific visual axis, has been uncovered that fundamentally alters the story. We're about to reveal exactly what this AI discovered and why it changes everything. A new dawn for Da Vinci. You see, for decades, art historians have used tools like x-rays and infrared scans to study the painting, but these tools were limited by human interpretation. What many overlooked is that a human can only process so much. A team of experts fed a machine learning program an unprecedented amount of data, high resolution photos, infrared reflectograms, multi-spectral scans, and x-ray maps. This was a total digital dissection of da Vinci's genius. The AI didn't just look at the painting, it learned it, studying every face, hand, and brush stroke, comparing them to hundreds of other works by Leonardo and his followers. It was searching for echoes and deliberate choices obscured by time. And then it found them. Three clear markers that when read together formed a stunning coherent axis right through the heart of the masterpiece. The first marker appeared on the figure to Jesus' right, historically known as John. Infrared underdrawings, the initial sketches beneath the paint, revealed a curved jawline. On the surface, the jaw sat slightly forward from this original curve. The AI matched that exact curve to identical shapes and copies made by da Vinci's own studio. This wasn't a random alteration, it was a planned shift. Then came the second marker found near the figure of Judas. The underdrawing showed a compact, tight grip of a hand. But the surface paint we see today displays longer, more extended fingers. The AI discovered these longer fingers repeated in four works by da Vinci's followers. This repetition linked the gesture to a deliberate repainting, a conscious change in pose. The third and most intriguing marker was a faint draft line directly behind Jesus. To the naked eye, it's just a shadow. But infrared imaging revealed a clear, deliberate stroke. When the AI stacked the visual layers, it found this stroke curved in a faint arc. This arch, the AI revealed, perfectly framed a small area where the window light behind Jesus narrowed, a subtle but intentional visual element. These three markers were not isolated incidents. What the AI revealed was that they fall onto a single profound visual line. This axis stretches from the disciple's jaw through Jesus and down to the hand near Judas. Read together, they formed a powerful guide meticulously plotted by Leonardo. The AI showed precisely where da Vinci drew, erased and redrew this axis, proving it was recorded in the underdrawing and confirmed by original pigment tests. This consistent pattern deliberately guides the eye, suggesting a secret narrative flow. But there's more. The program also scored the facial geometry of the figures. While the disciples largely fit male templates, a specific hairline curve at the jaw of the figure next to Jesus matched some workshop copies with softer faces. This gave the AI a mixed signal, suggesting not an error, but a planned ambiguity. This discovery is mind-boggling because it implies da Vinci intentionally left certain aspects open to interpretation. The AI connected these strokes across all layers in time, offering a single clear visual line. This axis, this designed visual statement, affects how we read the entire scene, pushing us to rethink the relationships and sequence. But why would da Vinci embed such a complex message? To understand that, we have to look at the man himself. Da Vinci's Masterpiece and Its Dangerous Gamble The story of The Last Supper isn't just about a painting, it's about a daring experiment, a gamble that nearly cost humanity one of its greatest treasures. To fully grasp the magnitude of the AI's discovery, we must travel back to the late 1400s, to Milan, Italy. 
Here, the powerful Duke Ludovico Sforza commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to create a grand work for the refectory, the dining hall of the Dominican convent of Santa Maria della Grazia. This wasn't just any painting, it was a centerpiece, an awe-inspiring image for a room where monks ate and important visitors gathered. Leonardo began work between 1495 and 1498. What many overlooked is that Leonardo planned the scene so the painted table directly faced the real tables in the room, making the image a part of daily life. The mural itself is a colossal undertaking, roughly 15 feet high and 29 feet wide, dominating the wall. But the thing nobody tells you is that Leonardo's genius was in his relentless curiosity. He was as much a scientist as an artist, studying anatomy, designing flying machines, and obsessed with mathematics. For Leonardo, art and science were two sides of the same coin, so it should be no surprise that he would approach a painting not just as an image, but as a complex construction of meaning. Most artists of his time working on such large walls used fresco, where paint is applied to wet plaster. This method is durable as the paint soaks into the wall. However, fresco required rapid work, leaving little room for error or subtle detail. Leonardo, ever the innovator, found this limiting. He wanted to achieve the soft edges, blended skin tones, and subtle details he could get with oil paint. So he made a radical choice. He decided to paint on a dry, sealed wall. He first coated the stone wall with a layer of gesso, pitch, and mastic, hoping to create a smooth surface. On top of this, he used a mixed media technique of oil and tempera. This allowed him to layer paint slowly, meticulously, blending colors, and perfecting every expression. This approach gave him unparalleled control, achieving a lifelike glow and depth that was simply impossible with traditional fresco. This was a true wow factor of its time. However, this very method that gave The Last Supper its breathtaking realism was also its greatest gamble. The paint, instead of becoming one with the plaster, simply sat on the surface. You see, this meant it was incredibly vulnerable to the elements. The complex base layer didn't properly adhere to the wall, and the oil and tempera didn't chemically bond with the dry base. The Duke's commission became an unexpected test of new methods. Leonardo's choice allowed him artistic freedom, but it sealed the painting's fragile fate. The very structure of its creation meant its beauty was destined to be fleeting. This risky choice immediately doomed the painting to rapid decay. What many overlooked is that the brilliance of his technique was also its Achilles heel, setting the stage for centuries of struggle and the eventual obfuscation of its deepest secrets. The secrets were buried, but the whispers of their existence would never truly die. Centuries of Secrets in the Magdalene Mystery Leonardo's groundbreaking yet risky method meant that the Last Supper began to deteriorate almost as soon as it was finished. This wasn't a gradual fading, it was a swift decline. The paint sitting precariously on the drywall could not withstand the natural moisture and salts within the wall itself, causing it to lift and flake away. Beyond the internal issues, external factors relentlessly attacked it. Smoke from the refectory's kitchens, dust, and the ever-present humidity of Milan. Over the centuries, countless attempts were made to save the masterpiece but many of these efforts only added to its suffering. Early restorers, some as far back as the 16th and 17th centuries, made quick, heavy-handed repairs. To put it mildly, they were butchers, not surgeons. They painted over losses with crude paints and applied thick varnishes that discolored, further altering the original look of faces and clothes. What many overlooked is that these early interventions sometimes obscured more than they preserved. By the 18th and 19th centuries, copies of The Last Supper circulated widely, but these too often added to the confusion by altering gestures or faces. The 20th century brought even more challenges. During World War II, the building suffered direct bomb hits. Before this, a doorway was even cut into the wall near the painting, removing a significant portion of its lower edge. Finally, in 1978, a monumental modern restoration began under the expert direction of Pinin Brambilla Barcelone. This heroic effort continued for 21 years. The team meticulously removed centuries of dirt, varnish, and overpaint using delicate solvents and fine tools to reveal the original paint wherever it survived. This was where science truly met art. Techniques like infrared reflectography exposed da Vinci's underdrawings and the changes he made. 
X-ray imaging and chemical tests allowed the team to painstakingly differentiate Leonardo's original strokes from all subsequent additions. After the restoration, strict measures were put in place, including climate control and limited access for visitors to ensure the painting's continued preservation. But even with all this careful study, one detail continued to spark debates far beyond the art world. The identity of the figure to Jesus is right. For centuries, this figure was identified as John the Apostle. But then, a popular novel by Dan Brown pushed a sensational claim that this figure was not John at all, but Mary Magdalene, and that this hidden identity implied secret bloodlines and a revised history. Many people are crazy about such theories, and this one exploded, making millions look at the painting differently. Art historians armed with facts pushed back. They pointed to the standard artistic practice of the Renaissance, where young male figures like John were often depicted with soft, youthful features. They cited Leonardo's other works, workshop copies, and the technical records, all supporting the figure as John. The underdrawing revealed by science was consistent with a male figure. Yet the story took hold, fueled by television shows and online videos. For many viewers, the image fit the story they wanted to believe. Despite the scholarly consensus, the Mary Magdalene idea moved from a small theory into a mass story. The truth, experts argued, rested on the lines beneath the paint. But not all things are what they seem, and if old records seemed to close the case, the new tools of AI hinted at reopening it. What if, for hundreds of years, the experts had missed something crucial hiding beneath time? Decoding Da Vinci's Intent The stage was set. Centuries of damage, flawed repairs, and a sensational modern debate had obscured Leonardo's true intention. But the AI, with its ability to see patterns invisible to the human eye, has finally unveiled something profound. It's not about proving or disproving the Mary Magdalene theory directly, it's about revealing da Vinci's deliberate compositional genius, and in doing so offering a powerful new way to see the masterpiece. What many overlooked is the true depth of da Vinci's planning. Let's revisit those three key markers the AI uncovered. First, the subtle jaw shift on the figure of John. The underdrawing showed a different line than the surface paint, a detail echoed in studio copies proving it was a planned alteration. Second, the hand near Judas. The AI identified a distinct difference between the underdrawn grip and the longer fingers of the final paint, a change consistently repeated in copies, making it a deliberate compositional decision. And third, the faint draft line behind Jesus, once dismissed as shadow, now understood as a clear, planned arc. Now here's where it all comes together. These three markers are not random. The AI proved they fall onto a single, coherent visual line, a powerful axis that runs diagonally through the painting. This narrative vector connects the figure of John through Jesus and down to the hand of Judas. The AI didn't just find this axis, it plotted precisely where Leonardo drew, erased, and redrew its elements in his initial sketches. This pattern is a deliberate guiding line designed to pull the eye along the table. What this means, you see, is that Leonardo da Vinci wasn't just painting a religious scene, he was meticulously constructing a layered message, a visual statement embedded deep within the painting's plan. This axis, confirmed by both underdrawing and original pigment tests, links jaw, hand, and arc into a single planned composition. The AI labeled this axis as a designed visual statement, a choice to emphasize relationships, sequence, and the ordering of gestures. Remember the AI's finding of planned ambiguity in John's facial geometry? While the features fit male templates, certain soft curves also resonated with more feminine forms in some copies. The AI, by cross-referencing all data, suggests this ambiguity was intentional. This is where things get truly mysterious. Leonardo was known to be fascinated with androgyny and the blending of masculine and feminine principles. Could this have been his way of subtly hinting at a deeper, perhaps more controversial, spiritual idea? An idea that couldn't be stated openly in his time? It suggests da Vinci was not merely depicting a scene, but crafting a puzzle for the ages. Could this hidden axis in da Vinci's Last Supper be just one piece of a much larger global puzzle? If AI can reveal such profound secrets in famous art, what else are we missing?
Make sure to like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more incredible discoveries.